Region Ahead recently took home two international awards in Nashville at the International Economic Development Council Awards as the organization is continuing its efforts to save jobs and bring more jobs to the Appalachian Highlands. And this morning, we want to welcome Andy Dietrich with Region Ahead to share with us what they've been doing over the past few months and what their future plans are for the rest of this year. How you doing, Andy? Great, sir. How are you? Good to see you again. Let's talk, first of all, about Region Ahead. We have a lot of folks moving into this region. Tell us about Region Ahead. Region Ahead was started last year at the very beginning of the pandemic as an organization created by the Chambers, Economic Development Agencies, and just local business leaders to help businesses that were in need because when the pandemic hit, no one really had a playbook on how to handle things. And, you know, restaurants, dining rooms were closed. You know, limo services that took people to proms and weddings and shuttles from the airport, that, that business just stopped overnight. And we got a bunch of people together and decided, how can we tackle this? How can we figure out a way to help these people? And last year, we created the Local Business Recovery Fund that raised $256,000. And we gave that back in the form of grants to 70 businesses in Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia that were struggling. Right. So that's how it started. Right. But you're continuing that work. And you're at, you've actually been out here. You've been welcoming frontline workers into the hospitals. Name some, talk to us about some of the projects you all are working on right now. So we've changed gears a little bit. Yeah. Region Ahead can adapt and move quickly right. to help different things that are in need. And this mm -hmm. year, we've seen the need. The pandemic has come back. COVID has come back. And mm -hmm. healthcare workers are stressed. They're working extra hours. They're shorthanded uh, nationwide. And we wanted to get people together to give them a chance to say thank you to those healthcare workers. So we've raised over $55,000 to go to seven of the hospitals that house 98% of the COVID patients in the ballot footprint. Mm -hmm. And so we're buying gift cards, box lunches and dinners. Uh, we did 340 car wash vouchers for Johnston Memorial in Abington mm -hmm. and food truck rallies. So that's what we're giving back now. Right. And that's still ongoing probably till the end of this month. We'll wrap that sec right. segment up. And looking down the road, you're going to be uh, trying to help out some of those frontline uh, emergency workers, some of those first responders. Yes. So in December, we'll start. We've, we've already raised, it's sort of a secret, but I'll, it's not a secret now. It's, uh, we're letting the cat out of the bag. Out of the <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we're going to, um, we've raised behind the scenes $22,500 right. yeah. uh, to the first responders, the fire, EMS, and police that represent those seven hospitals in our region. And we're going to be buying gift cards for them out of that funds to say thank you and and we appreciate them and everything they've been through in this last 16 18 months and they have been through it and they've been on that front line and they need all the they need some help they really yeah. do. they need a little pat on the back they need some help as well but let's talk about those two awards y'all yeah. recently picked up in Nashville that has got to make the efforts that you put forth I mean it's got to make it's like the icing on the cake yeah we don't do any of this to be recognized right. or get awards but the International Economic Development Council, they have 5,000 members worldwide. And for the first time ever, their conference was held in Nashville this year. And Mitch Miller with NetRep here locally came to me and he said, Andy, there's two awards at this awards ceremony at this conference that we ought to apply for for Region Ahead to, say, to see if we can get you know, noticed for working together as a region. And we submitted two of them, and they won. And so out of 500 applicants in four countries worldwide, we brought two awards home uh, to our region. And it just says, look what happens when we work together. If we right. work as a team, instead of trying to do things individually in cities and counties, if we come together, we can achieve great things and accomplish uh, things that you know people never dreamed we could do, and it just makes sense to work together. I mean, it really does. This region is recognized nationally as a region unto itself, yeah. and if we we pitch ourselves as a region, it's going to make things better. Yeah, it's not rocket science. It's yeah. you know, when you come together, great things will happen, and we've gone to show that when we come together in city, counties, and 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 across actually state lines, we can make great things happen. All right, Andy Dietrich, thank you so much. Thank you, folks. If you want to learn more about Region Ahead, if you need some more information, you want to find out how you can help, go to regionahead.com.